Hello, hello, Virgo, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, we are going to be pulling messages to see what you need to be focusing on. Um, you know, focus your energy on something brand new, I'm hearing. Um, let's see. Let's see what we have here. Oh, okay, we got three. Okay, so we have here achievement, effort plus intention. When you say that you are going to do something, make sure you take it to the end. You know, put the intention into it, not just say, oh, I'm going to go do something. Put intention into it and be specific, okay? You also have your clarity, planning and releasing illusion. Listen, sometimes it's time to wake up from the fog is what I'm hearing. You know, when you take the black clouds out of your way, you're able to see things more clearly. You also have here grateful optimism, joy view of the future. Okay, listen, work on that beautiful future that some of you are working on. You know, sometimes we kind of get stuck with people who don't have the same intentions and they don't have the same will, okay? They just don't have the same will. So be clear about the things that you want and the things that you are asking the universe for. Virgo, we have here aura of love. I love it. Listen, if you've been part of my channel, you know I love love, okay? Um, it's important, you know, it's important whether you've been hurt, it's important whether you haven't been hurt, it's important if you're having a good life or not, love is a part of living, okay? The union of light and dark, of earth and sky, balancer of anemia, anem anima, <laughs> listen, I don't know, and animus. The merger of two souls, acknowledge the masculine and the feminine aspects of yourself, both yin and yang, to create perfect balance. All right, let's see what we have for you, Virgo. Virgo. All right, let's see what we have here. Ooh, wow. Some of you, you start off the reading with the moon. And I'm going to tell you, with the moon, this is letting me know that it's time for you to get away from the illusions, you know. Um, it's time for you to reveal the truth on something. It's time for you to see the truth on something. You know, stop daydreaming for those of you that are daydreaming about somebody that is not giving you um, what you're supposed to get in return. You know, sometimes we underestimate ourselves. We are sometimes our worst enemy by saying, oh, it's okay to do that. No, it's fucking not, okay? So we're gonna see. I see movement going forward at some point. So with the moon here, I feel that this is something that you will probably have to see, okay? Once you clear out your eyes. Listen, if you need to cry to get those feelings out of you, then do it, okay? I promise you that when you wash your eyes out, you will be able to see more clearly. A page of pentacles. I feel that this was somebody in your past that would just wasn't giving you what you needed. I feel that they were putting a lot, very little. They, they were putting very little work into this. You know, they were kind of feeding you lines, you know. And for some of you, you know, this could be having to see the truth about making yourself just a little bit more independent, okay? You also have here the eight of wands, moving ahead quickly. Listen, sometimes you got to put on your running shoes and you got to run, okay? Um, let's see what we have here for you. Virgo, why is the moon here? The moon, why is it here? Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors, why is the moon here? The moon the moon. Okay. So we have here temperance. Okay. Finding your balance. You know, waiting for things to turn out in a different way. I feel that for some of you, listen, you're looking for the king of cups. Okay. You're looking for somebody who is loving, caring. You're looking for somebody who's a family man, you know, 
Um, you may be looking for somebody that you can actually have a relationship with, you know, you could be somebody who's loving and caring and you're like, you know what, I deserve so much more. Why is the temperance here? Why is the temperance here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? Oops, there we go. Ooh, the devil energy. Listen, a lot of people have been getting the devil energy lately and I noticed that for some of you, um, this is a lesson learned. You know, sometimes lessons come very hard. Um, with the devil energy, I feel like some of you were involved with somebody who was very low toxic, not low toxic, they were very low vibration, you know, and the toxicity level was very high. I just feel that for those of you that are looking for something more, this person in your past was not the person that um, needed to stay as part of your life. I feel it's time to focus on the future. I, I, oh, okay. You were stuck. Some of you are feeling stuck. You don't know what to do. You don't know how to depart yourself from this person. You know, listen, it wasn't meant to last the test of time. Sometimes when the devil energy comes through, it's like tempting you on something. But I will let you know that most of the time, this is somebody that you kind of learn a lesson from and it's time to go. You know, these lessons will be, you know, you have to heal from them. You have to become, oh my God, look at this. You got the tower. Listen, if something in your life fell apart, it was because it wasn't meant to be. Okay, the tower, this is the tree falling apart. You know, when you build something on a solid ground and you think it's solid, you know, this is, when I look at this, this is like building a home with like no foundation, you know, and it eventually collapses, you know, something in your, in your world comes in and it blows the fuck up. And, you know, when that happens, it's time to move away. It's time to rebuild. It's time to put yourself in a better energy, you know, what happened? Why is the tower here? What happened between you? Three of Swords, this person broke your fucking heart. I want you to see this. They backstabbed you, okay? This is the book. You know, you had the love story. This was supposed to be your love story. And they fucking ripped your heart out and fucking fed it to the wolves, okay? Um, I feel that with the Three of Swords, this person betrayed you. They just were not good to you. I think you need to focus on healing. You need to focus on all the good things that are coming to you once you make this move. Okay, three of wands. Some of you are waiting. What are you waiting for? Why is the three of wands here? Page of pentacles. So you get this twice. Listen, if the person has not given you anything until now, okay, they're not. This with the page of pentacles twice here, I feel that some of you, um, you know, I feel like some of you were involved with somebody who just wasn't putting in the work, you know? I feel like you were the only one that was building this situation, this building, this relationship. And you know what? One person cannot build a relationship of two. It's totally, totally impossible. Why is the three of swords here? Three of swords, why is it here for Virgo? Three of Swords, Virgo, Two of Wands. Listen, it's time to make new plans. Stop dwelling on what this person did to you. I know that that's hard. I know that it's not an easy thing to kind of forget the things that somebody did to you, especially when they betray you. You know, this is a person that you can no longer trust. You know, um, and with the Two of Wands, I feel it's time to put some plans together. I think it's time to put a plan together is what I'm hearing. Okay, so listen, I want you to see this. Clarity, planning, releasing illusion, release whatever didn't exist, okay? It could have existed in your daydreams. And listen, that's okay. We all have the power to fucking daydream, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. But when you're when it's screwing up your life and your stability and your foundation, it's time for change, okay? Why is the two of pentacles here twice? I mean, I'm sorry. There's two page of pentacles. Um, page of pentacles. Why is it here twice? Why is it here twice? Two of swords. 
a decision is needed. Okay, usually when we see this, um, the Two of Swords, the Two of Swords usually has his eyes closed. And, you know, there's two swords right in front of him or her. And these swords do not permit you to see, okay? And I feel that for some of you, you're ready to look, okay? Be ready to look because you know what? When you look and you wake up and you see the truth, then you are able to make some changes. Why is the Eight of, of Wands here? Eight of Wands, why is it here? Ace of Swords. Seeing the truth for what it is. Something finally gets exposed. For those of you that are waiting for clarity, it's here, it's coming. You know, this is finally cleaning out your eyes, Finally looking at the truth for what it is, you know, finally admitting to yourself that this situation has not worked out the way that you thought it would, you know, why is the ace of swords here? <clears throat> There's a lot of swords here. I'm going to tell you some of you could be dealing with an air sign, 10 of cups. You're going to realize that where you have been and where you have invested is not going to give you the Ten of Cups. You know, the Ten of Cups is family. It's love. It's pure love. You know, and I feel that for those of you that have been through all this bullshit, you know, I feel like it's time to wake up. You know, it's time to wake up from the dreaming. It's time to stop sitting by the window waiting for somebody to show up it's time to stop waiting for somebody to call you listen this person was only sent to you for this big hurtful because it's hurtful it's a hurtful lesson and you know you're going to realize that you deserve so much more love in your life you deserve the family the husband the wife the children the picket fence, you know, you are realizing that in order for you to achieve this, you need to get over this. See the truth for what it is. Okay, I'm going to pull out one last card, even though I don't want to. Ten of, ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is, let me tell you, it's love. It's the best love that you can get. Ten of Cups. You can't get the Ten of Cups with the devil energy. Okay, dream space and death. It's time to transform your situation. It's time to change it. It's time to create that dream space. You know, this is a, a sacred space. This is a sacred space where you kind of sit back and say, you know what, <clears throat> this, is, this is my space to dream. This is my space to kind of look at what I have to do to change everything. I feel that whatever this person did to you, um, it was part of your journey. You know, sometimes it just happens that way. But with the death here, it's time to transform yourself into a better you, okay? And know what is it that you deserve, okay, Virgo? I am going to leave this here. Thank you so much for being here and take care.